the experiences that they had at shelter. Um, well, that's my opinion. We. My opinion is it is fun because we go on field trips and all stuff. And my mom liked it there. We all liked it there because we made a bunch of adult friends. <laughs> most adult friends and kids. And yes, most adults for me. Um, we still go to school, but that's what I like still. Jonathan, you also had a couple of guys that you got to work with that were your advocates. How was that for you? Evan and Neil. Neil. When I had hard times, we used to talk through it. You all had a girls group too. Yes, mm -hmm. with Miss yeah. Anisha and Miss um, Lindsay. It was special because yeah. we made tie dye shirts and I really liked it. My mom still has them. It's when I was 10, right now I'm 12. It's just uh, reaffirming that you know, you're, you're, you're working with great people because they felt that they made more relationships with the adult staff than they did with, you know, the other kids that were there. They have more adult friends now than uh, uh, fr uh, kids, kid friends. And uh, it was just amazing that, you know, that Chrysalis was able to be there as a resource, as a place where someone can come in or a family can come in and uh, find, uh, find their footing in a way and, uh, you know, escape you know, situations, what the kids said, I believe they said, uh, when, you're, when you're up or down, when you're having your ups and downs, Chrysalis is a, is a great place to be in. You felt that in their conversation and, and it was sincere and, you know, they, they, they were glowing. <laughs> they were glowing the whole time. And uh, we, you know they had a positive experience there. Now you both said before that there were some tough times. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we had our ups and downs, but we got there. Yeah. When we, my, like my mom, when we couldn't buy no food, um, it was hard because my mom didn't f have no more money and we needed help and we needed help with a lot of things, but we kept going whatever we had. My life is safe. Thanks, Chrysalis is wonderful. Shelter life can probably be scary at that, at that age, you know. You are uh, coming in not knowing, you know, strangers and being a kid and going to school and being in uh, kind of like your life turned upside down. But the kids seem like the Chrysalis staff, uh, the residents kind of welcomed them in, up with uh, open arms and, you know, you felt the love uh, coming through. A lot of people, when they think about a shelter, that scares them. What would you tell them about being um, scared? It's not really scary. They help you and they give you actually things that you need. It was really fun to be in the shelter. Because there was a playground there. We got to play there. And you guys give us presents for Christmas or we did trick-or-treating and all those stuff. And then for our birthdays, you guys give us something. And it's really awesome. I really enjoyed being in the shelter. I love, too, that in their story now, there's no shame. They're, they're able to talk about where they came from, how hard it was, and being homeless and a large family, and talking about all the progress that they've made learning a new language, getting a U visa, mm -hmm. driver's license, employment, you know, to being on their own. And they're able to talk about it with no shame. Uh, I say every people maybe know how a home called Chrysalis. It's my home, second Chrysalis. Chrysalis, my home. My ex-husband is work and sometimes drink. Uh, my life is so bad, and the, my kids is same thing. And then maybe too much explain for me not too much English, and then no uh, explain too much. But my life is very bad, and Chrysalis uh, saved me three years. Chrysalis, Chrysalis. Give my kids clothes, give my kids pencils, give my kids shampoos, and give everything. Give friends and chrysalis, give, give 
hugs and and everything and no say you you black or you white or you Indian or you whatever one is open the door come in and help and I think one of the wishes that I would have would be that anyone who's hearing this would know that violence is not their fault and is nothing to be ashamed of and it's okay to ask for help. That took a lot of courage for her to make that call. Right. You know, too much English is a little bit. Thank you, you. Say, go to school. <laughs> and thank you, you. Thank you, say, go to school. Well, I say, have my daughter. And say, no problem. I, maybe somebody help. Yeah, somebody help might take my daughter, little daughter, the three months and go to middle school and then a little bit English. Thank you, you. No, and thank you, you, and having my U visa. Thank you, you, having my kids safe. Thank you, you, me as the person strong. No say, oh, the guys say, oh, you love and Okay, yeah, me love, no? No, now no. I say no, my kids is first, and my life is first. Thank you, you. The somebody, you know, how a homo somebody is, the husband is, is very mad, or the husband is, um, the husband is maybe, some uh, have a two or three kids, and say no, who pay the rent? Who pay the, electric and come and drink and come and smoke and again and again and again and again, and again. never never see how it how the people's ahead yeah wow thank you Michelle <laughs> thank you <laughs> mom was so impressive as well you know being able to overcome so many obstacles uh, language barrier uh, being a survivor and you know just having a, a load of a mother a single mom and it's just truly impressive what she's come through and 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 you can see it in her face as well you know chrysalis helped her so much she loves chrysalis <laughs>